Inspired by a comic, chess boxing was never meant to be just a sport. Chess boxing is a philosophy, not in the sense of life, in the sense of survival. I'm Ipe Rubing. I'm a Dutchman from Rotterdam, and I'm the inventor and creator of chess boxing. You probably think, what the heck is chess boxing? Well, it's the combination of the number one thinking sport with the number one fighting sport. And ultimately, we're on the quest for the smartest and toughest man or woman on the planet. My father was a carpenter, he was a big boxing fan, he had a boxing bag in his carpentry and we always used to box there. My mother didn't allow me to go to, to a boxing gym, I always wanted to go uh, and, and fight, but she didn't allow me. My father teach me the game of chess. Years later when I was studying in Amsterdam, I used to play a lot of chess with my friend Jean-Louis Feenstra and then I moved to Berlin and I picked up boxing in this old GDR boxing gym. And when I came back to Amsterdam, I met my friend Jean-Louis Feenstra in a bar and we were having our second beer, by the way. And I told him, well, I feel great. I started boxing and, and you know, like gives me a lot of energy. And he says, wow, me too. And there were five friends and they all turned around. They said, whoa, 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 whoa. are they gonna do a fight? Because you know how boys are. And he said, like, you wanna fight me? Yeah, sure, I wanna fight you. And then it all came together because I recalled this comic where there's a depiction of a chess boxing fight. And I said to Jean-Louis, we're gonna do a fight but we're gonna do it different and we're gonna measure ourselves on every potential level. We're gonna do a chess boxing fight. He said, what? Let me figure out the rules. He said, sure, let's do it. And eight months later, we ended up in an old church in front of a thousand people doing the first chess boxing match. Who is the lawyer? Anybody okay? Let's get ready to run by a brain! Yeah, the first fight, first chess boxing fight was intense. It was my first boxing fight, and everybody who's been in the ring knows that this is like, uh, it's like almost like losing your virginity. I wasn't the best boxer in the world, and neither was I the best chess player in the world, but we happened to be the first two chess boxers in the world. There were a thousand people who didn't know what to expect in this old church, and uh, we were really well prepared, actually. And uh, we had an Alekin defense with black, which is a very defensive opening, and because I knew I was the better chess player, I wanted to, you know, like, drag uh, Jean-Louis into a complex uh, situation. So I, I was better in calculating. And then there was the first boxing round. So the first the chess round, then we went into the first boxing round, which is the second round. And after trading the first punches, it felt like, wow, this feels good. And it felt really good. Then coming back to the chessboard in the third round, I over estimated my whole position and I basically destroyed my whole strategy and I started pushing the F pawn, which is basically the worst thing you could do in a lacking defense. My chess trainer was, he was going mad. This is the hard thing, uh, you know, to master in chess boxing and this is what we train, but it was the first fight and it did everything wrong. He was pushing it in the chess. So I pushed it in the boxing round, but I couldn't get through. I mean, I got through, but he didn't go down. So that's when we ended up in the, in the last boxing round, the 10th round. So I come out guns blazing. Jean-Louis Feintza, he's not in the game, you can see it. He's not throwing any punches, he doesn't feel confident. I'm, like almost every punch that I throw is hitting my friend. I'm ready to finish him off and that was when the bell went off. And at this moment, people were just like completely into the game. People were screaming, thinking, what is going on here? This is so intense. These guys, guys are fighting like, like crazy. They're trying to outwit each other on the chessboard. And, and you know, your heart is racing and there's a lot of adrenaline and testosterone all in your body. I think I had like two and a half minutes on the chess timer and Louis had like close to, close to a minute, I think. As a rule in the end game, you always have to bring your king to the center to help him, you know, uh, getting the pawns to the, to the last row. And he's just not seeing it anymore, you know? He takes off my last pawn, which means it's a draw. It's a technical draw because black doesn't have any mating material. But I won every boxing fight, which would give me the win of the fight. He's not bringing his king into play, and it's very easy to see now 
But if you're sitting there with your heart racing, all these people screaming, you're full of testosterone and adrenaline, there's oxygen being pumped in your, mus to your muscles, not a lot into your brain, it's really difficult to see it. And John Louis is not seeing it. So now I've got the knight and my king on the last row defending with the, with the last bits that I got. And he's not being able. And look at his chest timer. It's six seconds. He can still reach checkmate, but no, this is not gonna work. I can still block it. I'm looking at the chest timer. Five seconds, four, three, two, one. That's it. So I won the fight and became the first chess boxing world champion because Jean-Louis Feinstra exceeded his chess time limit. It was a draw on the chess, but I won all the boxing uh, rounds. So that made me win the fight. But probably by now you think like, what are the rules of chess boxing? In chess boxing, a match consists of 11 rounds. Six rounds of chess alternate with five rounds of boxing, each round lasting three minutes. Each fighter has only nine minutes on the chess timer. You win by checkmate or knockout, whichever comes first. Exceeding the chess time limit also leads to defeat. If there's a draw in chess, there's another boxing round. If there's no decision in that extra round, the boxing points are counted. If that is a draw, the one playing with the black pieces wins. If the referee sees that a fighter is stalling for time during chess, he gets a warning and 10 seconds to make a move. If he doesn't, he will be disqualified. This dynamics of alternating rounds works very well. There's a, there's a lot of tension because somebody is trying to push it in the chess. The other one is pushing it in the boxing and, and uh, there's, there's a great dynamic in there. The goal of the rule book was always that the, both sports had to be in balance. You can't rely on the chess, you can't rely on the boxing. That worked quite well from the beginning. We changed uh, the rules a bit because the chess was too dominant. So we had four minutes of chess and two minutes of boxing and we, we changed it to three minutes of chess and three minutes of boxing. And now we have more than a thousand fights worldwide on a yearly basis and we have the 60% statistic in the chess that fights are being won and 40% in the boxing. We're quite happy with that yet, but we're constantly monitoring um, the fights and the statistics. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.